Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the probability of a complement of an event. If you haven't watched the video on the probability of an event, then the link is at the corner. But in this video, we're going to be talking about the complement of an event. So stay tuned. Before we discuss the probability of the complement of an event, what is the complement of an event? The complement of an event is all outcomes in the sample space other than the event itself. Now let's look at this uh, Venn diagram here on the right to visualize it. If an event is defined as A, so if set A is our event, then the complement of A will be everything outside of A, inside the universal set. So all other outcomes other than A itself. This orange area represents the complement of A. And the complement of A is written as A prime. Let's look at this example. So let's say we have universal set that is that consists of 2 to 9, numbers 2 to 9, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, let's say A is odd numbers. So the odd numbers here will be 3, 5, 7, and 9. So we draw A, the set A with 3, 5, 7, and 9. These are the elements in set A. And let's say set B is defined as even numbers bigger than the 7. So bigger than 7, the only even number here is 8. So 8, and this is how we draw 8. This is how we draw set B. And then everything else which is those that do, don't belong in set A and B, but are still in the universal set, so we put outside here. So this is our universal set, consisting of set A and B, and other elements as well. Now let's say we wanted to find the complement of A. So A prime represents the complement of A, and A prime is everything outside of A. And so it would include set B as well as those that don't belong to any particular set so the numbers here are 2 4 6 and 8 so a complement a prime will be 2 4 6 and 8 let's look at b prime so b prime is all the outcomes inside the universal set other than set b so other than set b is only 8 the, all the other elements so we have 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 9 so these this is b complement or b prime everything outside of B. So how do we find the probability of the complement of an event? Again, if you haven't watched the video on probability of an event, then you can click the link at the corner. So let's take a look at this example, the same example again. So let's say A is, these are the elements in A, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So the probability of A will be the number of events that is the number of time A occurs over the total number in the sample size. So here we have from 2 to 9, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 numbers in total. And then the number of times A occurs, A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 times. So it is 4 out of 8, which gives us 1 over 2. What is the probability of, this is the probability of A. So what is the probability of the complement of A? Now, the probability of complement of A will be the number of times the complement of A occurs over the total number in the sample size. So here, the complement of A is 2, 4, 6, and 8. So the complement of A also, there is 4 out of 8, and we get 1 over 2. Now, let's look at what happens when we add the two together. When we add the probability of A and the probability of the complement of A, we get... 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2, which is 1. So this is an important thing to remember. When you add the probability of all the events in the universal set, they must sum up to 1. The total sum of all the probabilities of all the outcomes here must be 1. But you must make sure there's no overlap. Huh? If there's overlap, then you need to uh, get rid of that. That's another video. Don't worry about that. So the key here is the probability of all the outcomes is 1. So when we rearrange this, when we rearrange this and make the probability of the complement of A as the subject of the equation, then we get the probability of the complement of an event is equals to 1 minus the probability of the event. 
This is the second key here. So let's look at this as an example. So let's look at probability of B. B is, there's only one element in B, which is 8. So the number of times event B occurs is 1 out of the total number of outcomes here, which is 8. So 1 out of 8. The probability of B is 1 out of 8. So how to find the probability of the complement of B? Now, of course, you can do it manually. Also, I mean, you can calculate the number of elements of the complement of B over the total number of elements in the universal set. But sometimes you don't have that information. Sometimes they only give you the probability. And so the way to find the probability of the complement is just 1 minus the probability of B. So we get 1 minus 1 over 8, which is 7 over 8. And this is how we find the probability of the complement of an event. Two things to remember. The sum of all the probabilities of the outcomes must equal to 1. And so from that we can derive that the probability of the complement of an event is 1 minus the probability of the event itself. That's it for this video guys. If you've learned something, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you still haven't subscribed. See you in the next video.